We're here at AHR 2023 at the Field Peace booth, and Tony's going to talk about the importance of having fresh, clean oil in your vacuum pump. Hey, Craig. So one of the common misconceptions in the field is a lot of people think that the purpose of the oil in the pump is to collect moisture from the system, but that's not the case. Its purpose is to provide some lubrication, but also to help maintain a tight seal within the pump. Right. What the vacuum pump is doing, it's creating a very, very low pressure inside of itself to create a pressure differential to start to flow out the moisture molecules from the system so that you can put refrigerant back in without any moisture, right? right. But when, during that process, moisture actually does tend to accumulate in the oil, and when that happens, it, it reduces it, its ability to keep a tight seal, right. so you lower the pressure differential. The result is, it just takes you much longer to pull a vacuum on a system, right. okay? Yep. So, everybody knows you're supposed to change the vacuum pump oil on your pump regularly, yep. but very few people do. Why? It's not because they're bad people, right? right? No, it's because it's hard, it takes time, you have to stop what you're doing, right. and it's a whole messy process, yeah. okay? So we wanted to come out with a method to make that all easier. Right. So all the Philippines vacuum pumps have our run quick oil change yeah. system, which allows you to change the oil of your vacuum pump on the fly in less than 30 seconds. Right. You Huge. want a demonstration? Absolutely. So when you get a brand new Philippines vacuum pump, you get two cartridges of oil. The first one you wanna open up, and pro tip, make sure your ball valve is closed before you do this, <laughs> right? Take off the oil fill cap, Pour your oil in there and you're ready to go on your vacuum pump. Obviously the oil is already in there. Close your cap. Store your side cap right there and you're good to go. So now you're ready to pull the vacuum on the system and your second oil cartridge you keep here for fresh oil when it's time to change the oil. Now we're gonna turn on your vacuum pump and you can quickly see we pull down to a very deep vacuum very, very fast because we're connected directly to the vacuum pump. And when you start to see your oil begin to get cloudy or dirty, that means it's taking on too much moisture and it's just gonna slow down your vacuum process. Now you have a nice large window here to see the condition of all of your oil from the top to the bottom, so you can easily know when it's time to change the oil. So if I'm in the field and I'm pulling a vacuum and I'm just dragging, then maybe it's time to change the oil. It's very easy to do. You can do it on the fly in less than 30 seconds. So you open this ball valve right there, you drain the oil from the pump inside your empty cartridge here. You let it all drain out. Close your ball valve. Take your dirty oil and put it to the side. Now, in the real world, you would grab this fresh one, but for this demonstration, I'm just gonna use the same one. And you just pour this back into your pump. And you change the oil on your vacuum pump in less than 30 seconds while the pump is running with no mess. And you're good to go. That's awesome. And so you can see with the, the clean vacuum pump oil, we're, we have a very deep vacuum, so we're, we're measuring 15 microns. That's huge. Don't wait until it gets too cloudy. Make sure to always uh, basically build the, the cost of the oil into the jobs. You need to be able to pull this down quickly and, and do a good, fast, efficient job. So Tony, thank you very much for giving us that demonstration on a quick oil change. It's my pleasure, Craig. Thank you.